guys happy Friday to everybody I just wanted to pop in and make a video I'm actually just sitting in my rocking chair with little miss Janica I am getting some nice afternoon cuddles with her I am just thoroughly enjoying this baby more than you guys can imagine and this is my view from my rocking chair I know I've shared it with you before and there's her little pod which has been very popular amongst the viewers of my videos. People have been asking how they get their hands on one because if you're in the U.S., they're very difficult to get a hold of because they're a U.K. item and they don't generally ship to the U.S. So you really have to dig to find available ones. So I was really lucky to get my hands on that one. But that's where Miss Janica sleeps. And here is little Miss Janica hanging out in my lap. I just love her, you guys. She's just the sweetest little thing. I've had a lot of questions about her silicone and how much she weighs, what does her silicone feel like? People wanna, wanna feel like what marshmallow soft <laughs> silicone feels like. And um, yeah, I wish you guys were here and could feel her for sure because it's amazing. Sorry about that guys. I had to pause the video because my other half just got home and the dogs were going crazy. I knew it would happen so I wanted to spare you. But here she is, little Miss Janica. So yes, I've had lots of questions in regards to her silicone and let me just say, I truly wish that all of you guys out there could experience what a Claire Taylor silicone baby feels like because I usually get very interesting comments such as silicones aren't as nice as reborns, they're not painted as well, blah, blah, blah. Like the list goes on and on and on about um, what people's thoughts are on silicone dolls, generally stemmed from the fact that they haven't seen a really well done silicone doll. So that's where I think that comes from. But I think if people were able to experience the right silicone dowel, they would have a completely different idea of, um, you know, what they are, how well painted they are, how lifelike they are, especially in person. So, you know, I'm a huge advocate for a lot of different artists that make really high quality silicone dowels, but even amongst all of those top artists, I still have a very favorite type of silicone and that is what brings me back to Claire Taylor's baby dolls every single time. So even though I venture out, I try different things, I try different artists, try to have different dolls in my collection and then if you've watched my channel long enough, you will notice a pattern that um, I, I, I always always end up coming back to a Claire Taylor silicone and the reason why is because I have yet to find any other silicone that's as, as nice as well painted with the depth like you know the big test for me is 100% if I take my doll outside in natural lighting daylight and they look alive enough that they could fool a person and they look like they've got blood pumping through their veins and they have depth to their skin tones. That's what my goal is for my collection. That's what I aim to have in my collection. So when I sell dolls to bring home a new one, because that's generally what I do, because I don't have the means financially to have that many you know, I have multiple high quality silicone dolls in my collection. I sell one, I, so I part with one that I might really love, thinking I might love the next one just as much or more. And then 99% of the time, if I've chosen a different artist other than Claire Taylor, I'm usually disappointed. So in pictures, some, some artist's work looks really amazing and come across really, really beautiful in pictures. But then when you're close up in person, the silicone just looks painted. The silicone looks doll-like. And there was no way that these dolls could fool someone if they were to see them in person, if I took them out in public. And for me, that's a huge thing because I want to be able to take the doll out in public. I want to take the doll, 
for walks. I mean, just generally just, I want the doll to seem like it is a living, breathing newborn baby. And even though some artists' babies are very pretty and they're very well sculpted, a lot of times maybe the painting isn't for me. Or, you know, there's just a number of different things that I have talked about in a lot of different videos that I have, like certain boxes I check off before I'm happy with a doll. Like there's certain things that have to be perfect for me and my perception of what I want it to be. So for me, the closest I have been able, been able to come to, you know, a living, a living, breathing baby is a Claire Taylor silicone. And this particular baby, I've forgotten just how alive she looks. She's looking right at me, ready to coo, ready to say something. Hello, sweet baby. She's just amazing, you guys. And because her silicone is so soft, she's just so squishy. And I almost want to say, and this is a good, this is a good way to describe the silicone, I think. And I've said it before in past videos with my Claire babies is that it's almost like the silicone has like memory foam mixed with the silicone because it if you squish it and indent it, it takes a little bit for it to kind of pop back out. It slowly kind of takes its form back again. And that's what makes it not rubbery feeling. So that's, that's also one of the things about silicone. Even though silicone is technically a rubber, I don't want the doll to feel rubbery and, you know, I guess that's the best way to describe it. So with Claire's babies, they don't feel rubbery. They feel like they generally are skin, which is pretty awesome when you think about it. But um, to give you an idea of her weight, I think she's about eight and a half pounds. She's not super heavy. She's not super light. She's actually a really nice weight. And people have also been asking, like, in comparison to um, Marley, like, how big is she? So she is I would say just a hair shorter in length because her legs are bent, but she definitely is chubbier in the body than Marley. Marley was um, long and thin versus this baby is a little bit shorter and, and chubbier. And you can definitely tell that she's got the chubby little face. Look at that little face. <laughs> just too cute, guys. Too cute, too cute. So yeah, I'm just... Um, trying to kind of share with you guys just what it is about this baby or what it is about Claire's babies. It's, they're just very hard to describe. I think that until you experience one, pick one up, you know, give it the squish test, then you would understand. There's really, truly no other silicone out on the market like Claire's. And that's also probably why she doesn't share with anybody what her special mixture of silicone is because it's uh, very special. So yeah, I'm enjoying her. I'm hanging out, getting some cuddles. It's just kind of what I like to do. It's me winding down for my day. It's been a long week, and it's been an amazing week to be able to bring this sweet little, this sweet little pumpkin home. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing Miss Janica on this Friday evening. We will definitely be back for another video through the weekend. I'm not sure what. I have placed an order for a couple of items for her. I wanted to bring home something special for her, a couple of new outfits for her. So when I get those, I'll share those with you. And other than that, I'm just going to soak up some more cuddles with this baby and probably catch up on some YouTube videos tonight. And that's about it, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday evening. And Janica and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.